This is the homework for 425, 427, and 429. In problem 425, you needed to draw figure 0 and figure 4. Figure 1, 2, and 3 were given. I noticed from figure 1 to figure 2, it was increasing by two tiles. One on the top row, one on the bottom row. And that increased at a constant rate by two tiles. If I went to the left, it was decreasing by two. So I was subtracting two. I'd subtract these two, get figure two. Subtract these two, get figure one. So figure zero, subtract these two, and I just get these three. So figure zero had three tiles, one had five, figure two had seven, and you can see that for every um, one figure number, it was increasing by two tiles. In part B, I needed to represent this in a table. And I have the figure number zero, and how many tiles? The number of tiles, three. And I did that for each of the figure numbers. And you can see that it's increasing by two tiles for every one figure number. And that's at a constant rate. In part C, I needed to represent this pattern using an algebraic equation or rule. And I see that for figure zero, I started with three tiles. And you can see that represented here, and you can see it represented in the table. So for my equation, this is my starting value, my initial value. And for every one figure number, it's increasing by two tiles. So for every figure number, it's increasing by two. So my equation is y equals 2x plus 3. And I can check to make sure that this is correct because, for example, for figure 2, x is 2, so 2 multiplied by 2 is 4, plus 3 is 7. Now, just because it works for 1 doesn't mean that's going to work for all values. So you want to check multiple. 2 multiplied by 4 is 8, plus 3 is 11. It works again. 2 multiplied by 0 is 0, plus 3 is 3. In problem 427, you needed to solve for x in each equation. First, I needed to combine like terms. There are no like terms on the left side, but on the right side, we have a negative x and an x. Well, that creates a zero pair. Now we want to get the variable by itself, so we're going to do the inverse property of subtraction, which is addition. So we add 2 to both sides, 0 pair, and 2 plus 2 is 4. Inverse property of multiplication is division. We want to create the giant 1. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 4 divided by 2 is 2. So x equals 2. The second part asks you to check if your solution is correct. Well, we do that by substituting the value of x, which is 2, into the original equation. And I did that here. Everywhere there was an x, I substituted with the value of 2. And it's a good idea to put that value in parentheses. Now we follow order of operations. 2 multiplied by 2 is 4. And here, opposite of a positive 2 is a negative 2. And now left side, negative 2 plus 4 is positive 2. Negative 2 plus 2 is a 0 pair, so we have a positive 2. And that is true. 2 does equal 2. So this, the solution x equals 2 is correct. If I were to get um, a not a true statement, then this value is not correct, and so I would go back and check to make sure um, where, where I made my mistake. For B, 
I have three negative x's and one positive x. So I'm going to do the inverse property of subtraction and add 3x to this side so I get positive x's over on this side. Add 3x, I get a zero pair. x plus 3x is 4x. Now, inverse property of addition is subtraction, so I'm going to subtract 2 from both sides, get a zero pair. This side's a zero pair as well. So I can't just leave nothing here. I can't leave it empty. I actually do get a value. 2 minus 2 is 0. So now 4 multiplied by x, inverse property of multiplication is division. I get that giant 1 again. And what you do to one side, you do to the other. 1 multiplied by x is x. And 0 divided by 4 is 0. If you have zero out of four pieces, how many do you have? You have zero. So, proper way of writing it, x equals zero. In problem 429, Joe drove 100 miles from San Francisco to Gilroy and used four gallons of gas. So I'm showing that, miles to gallons, he drove 100 miles for every four gallons of gas. How much gas should he expect to use for a 3,000 mile trip? Well, how many gallons? We don't know for a 3,000 mile trip. So cross multiply 100 multiplied by x, which gives us 100x. 4 multiplied by 3,000 is 12,000. Now we solve for x. Inverse property of multiplication is division. When you get the giant one, 100 divided by 100 is one. What you do to one side, you do to the other. And we get x equals 120. So Joe would use 120 gallons of gas for a 3,000 mile trip. Now to find the unit rate, you just take the miles to gallons, 100 miles for four gallons, divide that and you get 25. So 25 miles per gallon.